And we're back now with a provocative new book. It's all about whether the clutter in your home could actually cause you to gain weight. Lose the Clutter, Lose the Weight promotes a new plan to turn your home and health around in just six weeks. ABC's Abby Boudreau has the story. Andrea Rothschild says she's tried countless diets over the years. I've tried getting rid of all the sugar in my life. I've tried a lot of deprivation type diets. But now she's hoping to shed some pounds by shedding the clutter in her home. In his new book, Lose the Clutter, Lose the Weight, Peter Walsh says there's a link between your mess, increased stress, and weight gain. How exactly does clutter affect your weight? If you live in a cluttered environment, the research shows that your stress levels start to increase. Once the stress level increases, hormone level increases. Now the result of that is that you start to overeat. Cutting down the clutter is a concept Andrea is willing to try, starting with her messy fridge. Do you think anyone's going to eat that? I have a feeling it's unlikely. Peter quickly helping her get rid of the old to make room for healthy food. I picked those up at the farmer's market on Sunday. And after 30 minutes, her fridge goes from this to this. We have really clear zones for things. And we've used simple bins to keep like things together. Next, they tackle her untidy pantry. And in less than 20 minutes, just look at the transformation. And finally, her chaotic closet. If you have to think about it, goodbye. Stay or go? Go. Stay or go? Go. Stay or go? Go. Stay or go? Go. Stay or go. go. Great job. Andrea gets it done, going from overwhelmed to overjoyed. I feel a little lighter because there's just not all this clutter and there's not this confusion. And while Andrea is hoping to lose around 20 to 30 pounds, Nanette Cooley, who was part of a test panel for Peter's book, says her new decluttered lifestyle resulted in a 50 pound weight loss. By uncluttering things, getting rid of the junk, I wasn't feeling stressed over the mess at home. I was able to come home on the weekend and relax and then more focus and more energy on what I needed to do to take care of myself. Along with decluttering and eating healthy, Peter says at-home exercises are key, like kitchen counter tricep push-ups, even shoulder presses using canned goods. It's not magic, it's not voodoo, it's about simple life changes and home changes that will help you live a healthier life. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles. I admit it, I was skeptical, but a lot of good advice there. And you can get more tips and read an excerpt of Peter's book on our website, goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.